everybody and welcome back to the channel where today we are doing a nice little uh, drawing for request for Lloyd. Uh, but this one was also has the added benefit of being from um, Infinite Phoenix Gaming as well. Back when I used to be able to do these pretty much regularly on the channel which uh, I haven't been able to do recently because Surprise, surprise, I took about like six months out of doing drawing and then I only did drawings for about three months and this is one of those streams, so here we are. I thought it would be a pretty fun one because this is the Hulk acting out of character. And let's be honest, when someone acts out of character, that's pretty much good for Halloween because the whole idea, as Buffy says to Willow, is that it's the one time of the year that you can wear or act differently from every other time. So as we all know, the Hulk is a green super-powered superhero created by Marvel Comics, written by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby, because of course it is. You probably know as well that he came out in May 1962. He's a May baby. Us Tauruses are amazing. <laughs> I'm also a May baby. <laughs> So, uh, primarily, this character was originally kind of designed as a character that had DID, Dissociative Identity Disorder, with the Hulk being one side, who was super powered and amazing in that regards, and the other side being Dr. Robert Bruce Banner, who was physically weak, socially withdrawn, a physicist, you know, and they don't like each other, which is something that I've never really run into in the DID community. I don't think that they many DIDs hate each other, uh, but it's been a really long time since I've even looked into the disorder, so I couldn't tell you in, in all honesty if that is actually the way that uh, it works. I personally don't have the ID, so I don't feel that it's something I could discuss with you. <laughs> so obviously this character first came around because of gamma rays. We all know radiation is terrible, horrible and uh, bad for your health. Sometimes it can also be bad for your mental health in the case of Dr. Robert Banner. Because of course, as we know from the uh, Avengers, I don't know why, I couldn't think of the word there. He has tried to uh, do away with himself in a manner most uh, painful. And the Hulk went, nah, 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 no. <laughs> Stay away from uh, Chernobyl, kids. That's the best thing that I think you can say. Uh, Banner is, it changes into the Hulk quite often, obviously, based on his emotional well-being, which I think is something quite good if you think about it. Uh, in Everybody talks about men's mental health, and I think that the Hulk, whether or not he was written to represent that, is a really good show of how when uh, men in particular, though I this could be for women as well, it, this is particularly aimed at men as it's the Hulk, right? Okay. Um, they tend to hide their emotions and their feelings and repress them to the point that it can cause physical harm by them lashing out and harming other people around them, which really does end up helping when you look at the whole banner doesn't like the Hulk and that kind of thing. Though even though they do actually get on pretty well towards the end of it all and they become the same person, which I'm not sure I like, honestly. The one thing that the two of them do have in common though is they both love solitude. Despite this, they have a large supporting cast in the comics, such as Betty Ross, who is Banner's love interest. He's also got a best friend by the name of Rick Jones. Obviously his cousin She-Hulk, who we have uh, had on the channel before. He's also got a therapist called Doc Samson. The Hulk character also has his own kind of group of supporting characters, which include the team of the Avengers, uh, Queen Kyara, uh, fellow warriors Korg and Mick, and his sons Scar and Hero Kala. However, obviously his rage often brings him into conflict with other heroes and villains, but you expect the villains part of it alike. He does try and do his best to actually battle the correct villains, such as the leader, the abomination, and the absorbing man and things like that, but sometimes he does still batter up the good guys, and I use the term good guys very loosely. Stanley uh, has also said that the Hulk's creation was inspired by a combination of Frankenstein and Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, which also allows us to kind of tie it in very neatly with this time of year, considering that Frankenstein, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde were horror stories that were brought out typically around the October time and 
paraded in front of, of people for the perusal of fun and games, as the saying may go. Overall, I think the Hulk has always been one of my favourite characters when it comes to the comic books. I've always kind of liked the idea of someone who gets so angry they can't control themselves and how it's not always a good thing. Um, I mean, it, you know it's not a good thing, but you know what I mean. It's not something that's glorified and, and told you, you're a big, strong guy when you can do this kind of thing. It, um, The whole thing behind actually having negative consequences and how you deal with those negative consequences was quite nice to me as a, as a teen uh, who, who lashed out at the world because things kept going wrong. So that was my short little ramble on the Hulk. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel where I know I look really washed out again. I haven't put any of the proper lighting on or anything like that. I'm wearing one of my favourite t-shirts. This was the one where I got up, I, I think I spoke to you guys about it last year. I got to go up on stage as Ahsoka and get killed and it was so fun. Um, but yes, once again, thank you so much to Lloyd for requesting this uh, Hulk speed drawing video i thought it was i really enjoyed this one also to um F infinite phoenix gaming i'll leave a link to his uh channel down below because he came on to twitch and he was the one that actually requested this drawing originally so thank you so much oh it has been a long old day guys i i am ready sorry i spit i am ready to get a nap um <laughs> it's been Oh boy, I have a headache, I'm tired, oh man, and I, I am wondering if this is all worth it right now, but it's got to be worth it, right? It's got to be worth it. Oh. <clears throat> so, what is today's card? Oh, it's upside down. Oh, it's the patron again. Mentorship and finances coming into again, once again. Uh, <laughs> finances are a thing. Oh my gosh, this is this is kind of fitting with me because I'm desperately trying to do something which I can't tell you guys about yet um, because of stuff. And uh, yeah, <laughs> um, remember to keep an eye on your finances. Remember that there are people out there who want to teach you how that the, they are doing things so that they they can get a hand on your money do not do that keep an eye out for the fraud keep an eye out for the person who is offering you things and it's going to come to nothing it's um yeah that, that's a scary card to pull uh, at this point in time for me but anyway i i do hope i'll be able to give you tell you what i'm doing very soon um <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of excited but uh, until that point I don't want to tell you until like it's actually a fully positive thing or like completely gone out because then I can talk about the whole thing so anyway <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow where it is I think we're on dead space again back on dead space I'm pretty sure we're back on dead space we are on dead space we are on dead space we're back at dead space so uh yes we'll see you then take care everybody have fun and we'll see you next time goodbye